Uh, Reed, hope you're all doing well and welcome to episode 5 of the Leeds United Career Mode. In this one, we're going to be playing the month of November. So we've got QPR first, then we've got Blackburn, Luton Town, Redden, and at the end of the episode, we've got Middlesbrough. Now, one thing I was going to get into straight away was Flying Flamingo mentioned on one of the last videos in regards to the goalkeeper and looking at someone else. A 100% agree we need to be looking at a better goalkeeper than Casilla. He did mention one person, and that was Gigi Buffon. Now, I wasn't aware that he was actually potentially going to be coming to Leeds before he went to Juventus, which was mind-blowing to me. But there you go. Football, it's crazy. But unfortunately in this, he's going to be retiring at the end of the season. There was one other suggestion, though, from Flying Flamingo, and it was this man. Casillas. Now, he is 83 rated overall. He's 38. He was going to retire from football himself. But he's looking to get back. And I think we could give him that chance. His contract's up at the end of this year. Or the end of the season even. And he's only going to cost him between 2.4 and 3.5 mil. So come January, we're definitely going to be looking to bring him in. He'll be a fantastic addition to the team. So we're going to be getting into this game against QPR first. The team's going to remain unchanged. So hopefully the lads can do the business for him. And we can pick up the first three points of the episode. Bordeaux here. Yeah. Puts it back. Hernandez. Should have been 1-0. Graven Birch though. Again. Come on son. Took three chances. But we finally went 1-0 up. The crowd reaction was a bit delayed there. Like maybe they were thinking the same thing. What you're playing at. Phillips. Douglas. De La Vega. Gibbs White. Phillips. Patiently. De La Vega. Goal. Come on, son. 2-0. Oh, he's done us. Oh, and it's 2-1. A little bit of skill. And he's away. Don't believe that, like. We held on for that 2-1. It was a bit ropey in the second half, like. See what these are going to ask with. Leeds United is unbeaten. Are you confident to keep the streak rolling? Uh, rolling. Rolling. Rolling on the river. Anyway, uh, one beaten for a reason. Unbeaten for seven matches. I didn't realise it was seven matches. Like, you won, but Queen's Park Rangers managed to close the gap and cause a late scare. How do you improve defensively moving forward? Uh, no improvement required. That should get the morale up. It has. That's what I'm talking about. You managed to secure the win, but at moments it looked like Queen's Park Rangers were pull level. What's your view on this? No, it didn't. You must have seen another game. Not sure what you meant by that. We weren't in danger of losing today, as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. I threw our pet. It's just come to us that there was a comment from Toby Plays in regards to Halland. Now, I think everyone knows about this lad. He's burst onto the scene. He's extremely popular in this FIFA. Was well, scouting him, so I'll take a look at him in January. But he might be someone that we'll be looking to pick up when we we'll finally get into the Premier League. But he does look like a fantastic player. I'll be excited to use him. I think like everyone else is. But he's definitely going to be on the list. Going to hit this press conference before this game against Blackburn. See if they've got anything interesting to ask with. Probably not. It'll be the usual. Given the current standings of your opponent's team, do you hope to get closer to the top spot? Uh, we'll get there. Of course we'll get there. We want to fight to win. The points from this will propel us to, to first place. Oh, well, that'll be good if that can happen. Inconsistent results of late are really testing your team's title ambitions. Can you arrest this slide? They've just said that we're unbeaten in seven. What? It's our responsibility to try. I don't know. Given the recent close call against... Queen's Park Rangers, what is the general sentiment amongst your players in regards to the match against Blackburn? We have proven tactics. There you go, we've got the best tactics to deliver the results. They've proven to be effective. And there you go. Aye, get, get the moot. Let's get into this game against Blackburn Rovers then. Fabio Silva's getting a start up top. And Roberts is coming in for Graven Birch. Oh, I'm hopeful in this one, lads. Hernandez, balls in, header, oh Silva, so close son, come on, Silva, 
Back to De La Vega. Puts it back. De La Vega. Come on, son. What a goal. Oh, man. Off the bar and in. He's getting better and better each game, this lad. Like, Didn't think much of it here. Just thought, why not? Blast it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, shot. That came out of nowhere, that. Hernandez. Silva. Oh. He's not been great in this match, like. Can he pull a shot? I think I might bring Bordu on now, like. Here we go. Silva's coming off for Bordu. Hopefully he can be a bit, bit better up top. Cuts it back. Bordu. Still Bordu. He's been brought down. I don't know what happened there, but it's a penalty. It just seemed like a massive cluster. I'll not say the rest of that, but I'm sure you know what I'm on about. Just trips him. Goes down like a sack of potatoes. Hernandez. We've not been lucky with the penalties in this one. Like, We'll go for... Let's see if I can put it up top. Jesus Christ. Come on. Is it going in? You see it every time. I don't think I've scored a penalty yet in this one. Hernandez. Oh, so close, son. Oh, it should be 2-0. What a shot. Oh, man, wrong side of the post. 1-0 in that one. It should have definitely been 2 or 3, like. Just not good enough. I need to improve on penalties. How are you satisfied with Gibbs White? He deserves all the praise. He's a fantastic player. And he can hopefully he can continue to amaze us with performances like that. Leeds is unbeaten. I know. We'll have what it takes. Same old, same old with this, like. You're able to secure a victory today before half time. Are you pleased with how things went in the second half? We were the better team. There you go. We're creating enough chances and score should have been bigger. Aye. Thank you so much for your time. Cheers, mate. See you later. So after that game, we're top. This is more like it. I know only 16 games in, but it's what I've wanted to see. We've got Stoke only a point behind. We're, so it's going to be interesting. I'm hoping we can keep up this form. And that's going to be the sight at the end of this season. Is anyone else getting this bug? Look at this. Just nothing. Watch how long it takes. I just wanted to have this in. Like, how long has that took to come back on? This this game is so broken. They need to fix so much of it. But, we need to get back into them games. So, let's get on with it. Scout reports come back for Haaland. And one thing I didn't realise is we're going to actually put a bid in for him. So, it looks like we can't buy him. I don't know whether there's any players you want us to sell to see if we could bring him in. But, I mean, he would be an absolutely fantastic addition to the team. Would you prefer him over the legs of Bordeaux? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't realistically want him to go. But people seem to love this lad. And they probably have good reason. So, let us know in the comments. Should we see if we can sell some players and bring him in? I mean, do, we don't realistically need him just yet. But, as I said, you would be a fantastic addition to the team. Game up against Luton Town now then. We've fully rotated the squad. We've got that game against Redden coming up. So that's the more important game. So the second team's going out in this one. Costa's in here, but there's no one in the box. Is now. Marin. Oh, come on, son. Just couldn't play it through, man. Terrible from the keeper. And Ketia. Come on, son. It's worked out in the end, though. Here we go, 1-0. Give him a chance. He's came back and he's scored. Easy for him, like. Shackleton. Cardozo. And Ketia. Come on, it's 2-0. That's what I'm talking about, son. He's making a point, isn't he? I think it's because he knows we're scouting Haaland. And I think he wants to be brought into the team permanently instead of him. Falls over for Luton. He's done us. The cross in. Oh, it was close that leg. Cardozo. Roberts. Roberts. Come on, son. 3-0. That's what I'm talking about. This game should be out of sight now. Cardozo again. He's involved in pretty much everything. Really, really like that lad. Oh, Luton. Oh, my God. That came out of nowhere. 
I was not expecting that leg. Nice little bit of build up play from them. Brown, just too much space, blasts it. It's 3-1. 3-1, pretty comfortable in that one, I think. Even though they did get a goal, not the best. So Nketiah got two goals, what's your thoughts? He's the hero, an overall great performance. He's definitely staking his claim to be back into that first team. Like, Leeds United unbeaten, I know, I have what it takes. It's the same thing over and over again. Did you have any doubts to come away with the win? Leeds always wins. Bit overconfident, but so there you go. Cheers, mate. So this game against Redden up next, it's literally about two or three days after, which is crazy. But it, what can you do? It's something that they've never decided to change in career mode. But we're going to be playing the first team. So hopefully we can replicate that last game and get another win. A four, three, three Gibbs White. Is, is it over for Bordeaux? It is. He's in. Come on, son. 1-0. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little dink over from Gibbs White there. Didn't know if he was going to get on the end of it, but nice little volley from him. Bottom corner. It's 1-0. De La Vega. Past him. Shoots. Come on, son. There we go. 2-0. De La Vega yet again. Gibbs White. Bordeaux do something. Bordeaux's in. Oh, he should have made it three, man. How oh, son. Gibbs White. Hernandez. Oh, come on, man. Oh, it's like I'm not meant to score third goal, like... Blasted. Again, the wrong side of the post, man. He doesn't look happy about it either. Bordu, is it this time? It is! Come on! Finally! Got that third goal that we deserve. It's too easy for him, that. Zane. Far post. Yes. That was a nice little 3-0 win in the last one. I was really happy with Bordu. Getting them two goals. He's definitely the star of the show at the minute. We've got this last game against Middlesbrough. We're going to attend this press conference and see what they've got to say. How are you then? Your recent form suggests you're on track for the championship. Do you have enough squad depth? Uh, it's our responsibility to try. You put the game beyond doubt last time. Congratulations. Uh... My lads performed admirably. You say it had a bit of a mixed bag in terms of results recently. Really? I don't. It's not that bad, like. You see what we're made of. I'm hundred percent sure our form will improve, and you'll see what the team is made of soon enough. There we go, then. Morale's top. Now let's get into this game against Middlesbrough. Last game of the episode, then. Probably be a hard one against Middlesbrough, but I'm hoping we can keep this momentum going. Fingers crossed we can win. We've changed a couple of players in the team. And Ketty has got the green light up top. So hopefully he can produce like Bordeaux did in the last one. Costa. Someone running. Here we go. Go on that. Oh. I'm absolutely gutted about that. Ball's in. Marin this time. Oh, it's off the post again. What is going on, man? Oh, now like drama. Ketia. Gibbs White. Oh, come on. Gibbs White again. Come on, is that in? Yes, it is. Come on. Much deserved goal for us. We've piled on all the pressure. Middlesbrough tried to park the bus, but it's not worked. We've finally broke through. Oh, my God. They've went and scored. That was... I thought it was decent defending, but clearly not. And it's none other than Savile. What an unfortunate name to have. Still Costa. It's brought down. Oh, it's another penalty. Second one this time round. I'm praying. Praying. We can put this one away. Costa's stepping up. We're going power bottom corner. And he saved it again. I do not believe this. Like, Well, I think that was undeserved, that draw. We definitely should have won. But having a look at the table, it's pretty close up top. But 
We're first, that's the main thing. We've got Stoke City behind, we're right on with tail, 39 points, and Swansea in third with 36. So it definitely is going to be interesting the rest of the season. I'm going to leave things there for this one. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like, maybe subscribe. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.